Hey there, Love Them Knives channel, LTK. So let's go small today. Yes, and we're staying with the Reich knives. And they seem to like, you know, I did a review on the 4S Reich knife. And I'll put the link below on uh, my review on the Reich 4S. But check this out, the Hummingbird. I got this. I mean, I you know, you try and prepare yourself for a knife, but it's hard to prepare yourself for this. I mean, you got a little neck chain here. You got a little uh, Kydex sheath. A little, a little. And you got a little knife. I mean, no, no, I'm, I'm, see? This is like, it's like, you know, a piece of jewelry for a woman. I mean, it's like, you would think they should have just put a little brooch pin on the back here where they could pin it to their blouse or something. This is insane. This is not only insane, it's crazy. Look at the look at the work on that titanium. I can't see well enough to do that. I'm not sure I can see well enough to appreciate that. Look at the backspacer. Blue anodized. And it's got a keychain hole. I wouldn't say that's a lanyard hole. This thing weighs a negative amount. If you don't hold it down, it will fly. Well, it's a hummingbird. It's crazy. So <laughs> look at the screw that holds the, the steel insert in the lock bar. That screw is half of the lock bar. And that's the smallest screw they could find, probably. <laughs> it is. This knife is small. Hold on. Let me see if I can flip this thing open. Hold on. I'm going to back out. i got to wipe my hand down. Oh, God. Here it comes. Here it comes. All right. <laughs> Bingo. You kind of got to sit back a little bit because you got to get this flipper tab back. You want to hold the knife like this, but then you're going to hit your thumb trying to get the flipper tab open. And you got... Here's your lock bar. Check that out, huh? What is that? Mm, about 25% lock up on that thing. Anodized titanium. And you got hardware that's anodized with the Reich symbol on it. Look at that Damascus steel. You know, I can't remember if this is Damascus steel. Hold on. I'm not sure that they... They specifically, they call it Damascus, one and a half inch blade. Okay, mini flipper, mini, they put the mini in mini flipper on this one. They really did. 3.75 inches overall. I mean, that's my EDC knife blade length of the blade that's measurable before it hits the pivot, right? Before it hits the scale. Well, it is Damasteel. Okay, so I was wondering. I said, this looks a lot like Damasteel instead of just like some unknown Damascus. Drop point, flat grind. And there's your handle width. Handle length. Tip up, right hand carry. Right hand? I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, it disappears in your hand. You don't even know it's in your hand. Oh my God, it's so crazy. It's cool. I mean, it's. I mean, I'm trying to act like all whatever, but you know, in a way, it's it's really cool. It is. It's really cool. It's super super light. It'll actually. Hold on. Let me get a piece of paper. I know I, I cut paper with it before. <laughs> you know, right? I mean, how cool is that? It's like, stand back. I'm going to do you some damage, buddy. You better, yeah, go into the biker bar, dirt bar, you know. Watch this. <laughs> Watch you get your ass kicked. It's like, nah, that's not that impressive. Sorry, that ain't working for me. A little jimping on the top of there. Like, what are you going to go forward? What is that? Why do I need that? I mean, they're just, they took a big knife and they made it smaller. I mean, can you imagine the pocket clip? Come on, man. You can't even find it in your pocket, much less clip it to the side of your pocket. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. I'll tell you what's not ridiculous. Okay, let, let me fold this thing up. This is just nuts. I mean, it's so small. It's done so, 
in such miniature, it's got to be so difficult. Can you imagine the detent ball, the size of that in there, and then the bearings? I didn't take this apart, and I didn't want to. I mean, it's a snappy little flipper, um, but I'm surprised it flips at all. It's just, there's no mass to it. Uh, but I guess the detent ball is enough to hold it, you know, in place. I mean, you can't see the knife because you got my mitts all over it. But there it is. I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll roll this around for you. Look at that. Look at that, that damascus steel blade. Look at that edge on that. That's just, that is just amazing. I had to get one of these. I just, it was just an interesting looking knife. Uh, to me, and it's about the only Reich knife I can afford. <laughs> Have you looked at the prices of their knives? It's like three, four, five, six hundred bucks. So this is definitely under three hundred dollars. Uh, I think Blade HQ, if you saw that paperwork, they want a hundred and fifty for these. A hundred and fifty for these. Have you passed out yet? Pick yourself up off the floor. Get up. Come on. Not that bad. No, but I've seen them on uh, eBay for like 104 or something like that. So it depends on how much you love your wife. And this comes in like, you can get these in pink, blue, this color green, and just silver. How crazy is that? What do you think? Look at that little stop pin up there. I mean, you could put this, you got a G.I. Joe back from when you were a kid, you know? You put this under his arm, and it would be proportional. That's just insane. Comes in this little tin, fitted tin, you know, your knife goes there, your little kydex sheet. Let me show you the kydex sheet, that's cool. You gotta check that out, okay. So here it is, let me, let me make sure I got the side that I'm supposed to have with the flipper tab, I think. No, I think it's this way. There you go. See? Kicks right in there. It's, I mean, it's solid in there. So, I mean, you just have a neck chain. I mean, that's the way to do it, right? Just hang it around your neck. Then it's like, okay, buddy. <laughs> Stand back. <laughs> and you won't get hurt. I can't even cut your sandwich with this. I'm sorry. Give me an olive from the bar. I'll show you a thing or two. Um, yeah, this is just, whew, that's amazing. You know, and I think this is all part of the Reich knife showing off thing. I mean, they do, you know, right? You see some of their, like their integral knives and stuff, and they do a lot of millwork, a lot of detail millwork, and you're going, damn. And this is reflective of that only in the miniature and just like when you start taking these things down, it doesn't necessarily get cheaper, right? Still got a lot of machining to do. And you'd think that quality control would be very difficult when you break it down like this. But that is just one heck of a knife. Oh, I got to show you. Hold on. So... Yeah, my wife, she wants this one. She's like, if you really love me, there you go, Christmas gift, honey. Okay, there's the blue one. There's the silver one. These are all got, oh, and then there's the 4S. I'll put my review down on that. Look, they want 300 bucks for that damn thing. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's insane. So, but, uh, this might be interesting. I don't know how you get pink. Because uh, I've studied anodizing and stuff. <laughs> I've got the equipment. I can't. I am no good at that stuff. Everything turns kind of a dark gray or a bronze for me. I just, I don't know. I, I'm not sure my voltage thing is right. But I don't know how you get pink. And that looks kind of pink. So, I don't know. But I got green, and she wants pink. Thanks a lot. So I'm going to put this up for sale. And uh, hopefully your wife likes green. 
you need this knife, come to think of it, very badly. But it is cool. I mean, you know, it will cut. Um, it's extremely light and very EDCable. In fact, it will disappear in your pocket. And the bad thing is, it will disappear in your pocket. You know, it'll take refuge under your keys or something. You won't even be able to feel it there. Let's weigh this. Let's see if it even if it even registers on on my postal scale. Let's see. This ought to be fun. <laughs> All right. How many grams do you think that is? Six tenths of an ounce. Four. No. Seventeen. What did we fail again? Okay. That, <laughs> okay. That's ounces. 0.6. And so, oh yeah, the 0.004 was of a pound. Okay. So this is 17 grams. Damn. Whew. Okay. So now I'm going to insult your intelligence because it's always fun to do things like that. Come here. Let's do a comparison. <laughs> oh my God. Hold on. How do I do this? Okay. Oh. <laughs> pivot to pivot. Now, come on. Come on. <laughs> this is just a hoot. I mean, it's a hoot. It's crazy. It's, it's really interesting that they would even mm, have, you know, who's the guy that went to the, the management team and goes, you know, we need to make what? I mean, really? Can you see the pitch? We need to make a knife that's so incredibly tiny that if worse comes to worse, we can always put it in a box of Cracker Jack as the prize. Maybe in a box of Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> I mean, that's just, I don't know. It's just pretty crazy. Let's get the Manix out here. I mean, right? You need that total comparison. And if we put the aspect ratio, the Manix will look smaller, you know, comparatively. So this is looking as big as the Hummingbird's going to look. Let's flip it around. Now it's going to look smaller. I mean, is that nuts? That's insane. It's absolutely insane. Backside. Can you believe that? That's just... So here is a knife that's actually lighter than my lightweight Man X. I mean, this is like 1.8 ounces. This is a half an ounce. Whew. Baby. You want to get the... You want to get the tape measure out come on man it doesn't even work that way does it yeah it does okay so there's four uh, 40 millimeters right okay so here we go and it's yeah one and a half inches and three and three quarter overall if you got the lanyard hole in there so what's that that's um nine almost nine and a half centimeters overall gigantic makes you feel ultra manly doesn't it or not i just don't understand the pocket clip you know i haven't taken the time to try and put this uh clip this in my pocket actually it's been staying right here in the box the whole time but uh i just take this out and look at it and go, what in the, <laughs> what is going on? But it's cool. I mean, damn steel blade, really well done. I mean, don't you think? I mean, that's a cool little blade. I like the blade design. Do you like that? I do. I mean, uh, man, look at the blade stock. That's not bad. Hey, let's check that out. Okay, this is just for the hell of it, but let's see what the blade stock actually is. Uh, 0.91, 0.0 oh something, 91. Eh, 2.3 uh, millimeter. Is it even, yeah, 2.35 millimeter. Really not bad. I mean, I've seen blade stock that thin on uh, a full-size knife. Oh, one more thing. 
This is what I intended all the time. I'd have kicked myself if I wouldn't have done this. This is my mini recon. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we can go in the alley and be a fair fight, right? The ever, the ever famous keychain knife, right? Oh, this is my tough light. I'm sorry. I've had this one for years and years. This is not my mini recon. Oh, I gave that to my wife <laughs> in lieu of this one. Um, but yeah, look at that sucker. There you go. The ultimate keychain knife. You can roll like a millionaire. Hey, honey, I got you a $150 uh, keychain knife. They are cool, though. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's a conversation piece. Although, you know, you could wear it around your neck. That might be kind of cool. You know, I mean, you got a normal life with you and stuff, but you may wear that around your neck and just, like, show it off. Conversation piece. Damn a steel. I guess there's your little detent hole there, huh? <laughs> you gotta back up. You gotta you kinda gotta give yourself some clearance to get your finger down here. But it's a snappy, it's not a swinging gate. <laughs> Swing and gate my ass. I mean there's no mass to this blade. Oh, fail. Yeah, you gotta get back behind here. There you go. And give it a good whack because you can fail this real easy if you want. I mean, you choke up on it and then you're, you know, you, you know, you can do that. Of course, I can fail any flipper anyhow, but, you know, to really get it to, to flip, you, you got to kind of hang back here and try not to get too much pressure on this lock bar with your finger. Although you're just dying for, where do I, where do I make contact with this? Where do I, how do I hold this thing? It's so small. It's. It's, it's you're trying to adapt to something that's so small, it's really difficult to just kind of adjust and, and hold on to. That's the biggest problem with the knife. But it's a conversation piece. It's a novelty. That's what it is. So, I don't know. It is what it is, right? One more look. Blue backspacer. Blue anode, you know, pivot. You know, uh, lock bar screw, backspacer, the rest is green, come in colors, just like candy, just like candy. Yes, it is. There you go. And, you know, don't forget the Kydex sheet and the necklace, okay? You know, you ought to get something in sterling silver. <laughs> I mean, depending on what you're, you know, what you're paying on this baby, you need to go class all the way, right? Don't you? That's amazing. That is just amazing. I, crazy, hard to figure out how to hold this thing. Hey, how's it feel in the hand, LTK? Oh yeah. How about reverse grip? Yeah. Let me show you guys. Reverse grip, really comfortable. Oh, whatever. In any case, that's the hummingbird. Love it or leave it. But I think it's uh, pretty charming myself. It's really an interesting uh, exercise in design and craftsmanship for the people at Reich Knife. Apparently, they're bored and they need something to do. So they take off on fanciful flights like this. Flights, hummingbird. Get it? Yes, you do. Thank you for joining me. You know what we do around here. We love them knives, so stay sharp.